Hello again, YouTube. We're back on Free Code Camp between JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 17 of 33. So in the previous challenge, we just matched the beginning word of a string. Now we're going to match the ending string pattern. Okay. So just like in the previous, we used the caret to match the first word. Now we're going to try and match the last word of a string. So as you can see in this example, um, we have the regex here that is the word we're looking for followed by a dollar sign okay so you can see with this example the first test case so this where they use this string that ends in story they search with the reg the expression forward slash story dollar sign the dollar sign signifies that they're looking for whatever came before it at the end of the string right so we're taking this this regex testing this ending string and it's looking at the last word in it, seeing if it matches whatever comes before the dollar sign. Just like the last lesson with the first word, this is the opposite, quite literally. That's why the dollar sign is at the end, looking at the end of the string. So as you can see in this one, uh, the second example here, it would be false, the test, because we are testing this string with the same story regex. So we're looking for the last word in the string because of the dollar sign. And we're looking for it to be S-T-O-R-Y. And if we look here, it is not that. It is E-N-D, so that's a false test. Okay, so that's all we're going to do in this challenge, just like the last one. Just another really helpful, really powerful way to use regex to determine what's in a string, right? To test for certain patterns, to, to look for certain things. So uh, we're going to use the anchor character, which is what it's referred to here when we use it in this syntax. The anchor, which is the dollar sign. The bling operator, as some call it. That's the anchor in this case. Um, I always just think of it as a dollar sign. So we are going to look for the word caboose as the last word of this string. And as we can see, this should be a positive test. We should get back a true here. So to do that, we want to look for that word. So caboose, C-A-B-O-O-S-E. And then we are looking for it at the end of the string. So dollar sign. And then as you can see, our result is equal to this method call. We're calling the test method, uh, which is a function. All methods are. So as we know, this is a function call. A function call is equal to what it returns. So thusly, result has the true or false value in it. And in this case, with this expression here, we can see that we're taking this regex caboose dollar sign and checking this caboose variable for the word caboose. There's a lot of caboose going around, but looking for that word at the end of this string, which is a true match. So we should get a true result. And that is what we get, so this should pass. So I hope that made sense. Again, no different than the last lesson where we used the caret, just the opposite. And the opposite in this case is the bling, the dollar sign, or apparently the anchor character to search for the end of the string. So hope that made sense. Hope that helped. If it did not, please leave a comment. I'll be happy to get back to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.